Light still on, racing. Lest to feel that on the inside began quite well. Calypso Star, Ten Under Star and Sovereign Eye about wider going forward. Dixie Serenata driving from the inside and Lester Field Lad will be in front in just a stride. He's driving right up on the inside. In behind them after the gold rush of the 850, followed by Maruka Court. Back in behind them, two lengths away, Star Aura settling down back in the field from Sovereign Eye. Well back as Ten Under Star hove to and search. At the 650, Lester Field Lad on the inside, joined by Dixie Serenata. Gavoni around racing a little bit deep, two lengths away back in the field, Maruka Court, then Calypso Star, Boldeed was back in behind them, followed by Flash Sam, Southern Eye back in behind them from after the gold rush, Hove 2 from well back as making ground from Search and Ten Under Star, 300 metres out on the turn, out three wide, Gabonia raced up on the outside, went to the lead from Lister Field, lad the favoured not finding much, Flash Sam is the one starting to wind up on the outside, coming in after Gabonia, followed by Southern Eye from well back of the 120, Gabonia a half in front, Flash Sam has picked it up on the outside, it's doing the better. Sovereign Ive is coming at the pair. Flash Sam in front near the line, and Flash Sam has got there by a long neck. Sovereign Ive may be second, and those Gaboni a third. Star Aura and also Hove 2 made up plenty of ground. In behind them came Maruka Court. Back in behind them came Listerfield Lad from Boldeed. The favourite knocked up badly, Listerfield Lad. Surge back in behind them, followed by Ten Under Star, then Calypso Star, and Dixie Serenata was one of the last in. Bar for the one being pulled up short after the line. 3, 1 and 11, says Brian, after the running of race 5. Pretty tight for second and third, but number 3, Flash Sam, no doubt the winner. And tight for second and third, Brian fancies one Sovereign Ibe to get second in front of number 11, Gabonia. 3, 1 and 11, race 5 at Werribee. Next event is the first leg of the Quadrilla there, race 6, the Tyquin Handicap at 5 past 3. Redland is out along with Sir Trident, numbers 1 and 8. Delayed, but uh, I think we'll probably get the pictures from Sydney any tick of the clock Roman there. The we can't take you to Ron Paps because we are receiving Ian Craig Christine at the moment. A length of our shin for our working around the outside of General Dagur and they're racing in Sydney. In Sydney. They're from Sky Chase Roman General. Moving forward, Lig on arms, a length for Len Tigo, followed by Please Reply and then hit again Benny and Wonder Great Quest. Second last Nixon and C Epic drops out last. Roman General leads going to the first corner. A length and a half Lig on arms in third position loving to Devotion, three deep sky chase. One Len Tigo starting to get up on the inside at the head of the others, then please reply on the inside of Nixon. And then Great Quest, second last hit again, Benny, and Sea Epic is last. In heavy rain, the Peter Pan field runs past the 750 and Roman General making play nearly two lengths like on arms. One third is the Grey Loving Devotion, another Grey on its inside, Len Tigo, one sky chase, three Nixon, then please reply on Great Quest, two and a half hit again, Benny, and Sea Epic is back at the rear of the field. They're travelling to the corner. A Roman General by one length in second place, Lig on arms. Now Marshall calling upon the favourite Sky Chase and Loving Devotion inside it. Straightening up now and the leader is Roman General. Len Tigo gets up on the inside. Sky Chase would need to get a move on here. He's labouring at the moment and as they come to the 200 metres and Roman General by two lengths. Sky Chase on the outside has gone to second from Len Tigo and forget Lig on arms but Roman General and N Tiley and it's down to the 100. Roman General Six length Sky Chase taking no ground off Roman General and third Len Tigo and Roman General wins the Peter Pan. Roman General six and a half length Sky Chase, third Len Tigo, a long margin please reply and then Lig on arms and hit again Benny, followed by C Epic Loving Devotion, Great Quest and Nixon was last. Right at Rose Hill it's 10, 2 and 8, Roman General coming right away and bolting in number 10, Roman General the winner, second placing to two Sky Chase and third number 8, Len Tigo, 10, 2 and 8 and in Adelaide the numbers past the post are 5, 1 and 8, Alshin Farrar the winner, second Bo George and third Sydney made 5, 1 and 8, again our apologies for the loss of pictures uh, from Adelaide but as we have told you it is out of our control and uh, if they decide to go to Sydney that's where we go. 5, 1 and 8 in Adelaide. The approximates in Sydney. Let's Hi, I'm Ray Benson from Blue Ribbon, Victoria's leading syndicators of quality racehorses. Believe me, there is no greater thrill than seeing your horse first past the post. We make ownership easy with shares from only $495 and less than $14 a week covering all costs, no extras at all. Ring Blue Ribbon Thoroughbreds now for your free online video of our latest releases of two-year-olds and ready-to-run horses. Phone Melbourne 486 1144. ...of that race, 
And the horse to watch is Al Shin Farah, which is uh, the horse in the light blue cap moving into second placing now. It's Sydney made in front. Al Shin Farah got into all sorts of trouble apparently up near the home turn, but the imported galloper really stretching out well over the final stages. Bo George is the horse on the outside about to move into second placing from Sydney made and then Pill Dapper. But this horse coming right away for an impressive win. And uh, I think we might hear more of this. He is uh, trained by Colin Hayes, who obviously wouldn't bring him here for nothing. And the imported galloper from Great Britain, Al Shin Farah, was the winner. Second placing to number one, Bo George. Third number eight, Sydney made. Five, one and eight in race four in Adelaide. Now, the next event from Sandown has got there and the extra double on the numbers eight and three. That was Lady Violet and Cammy paid a dividend of $86.30. The subs were one midnight fever and number three, Cammy. Now, balance again. Bo Zephyr moving about in close. It's marking time, racing. Bo Zephyr missed the kick. Prince Anton came out fairly well and Bo Rogan, Princess Vey showing plenty of speed. Bank Coin began nicely, but he's drifting back. Passed by Brugalino, Gold Jade and Great Hopes in the early part. Bo Zephyr's worse in midfield with Palomino Star. Chief of State is next on the outside. Menden Lad, Tiny's Glow, James Tradition, Pioneer Valley. And Chilada immediately drops out last. Racing onto the first bend, 800 metres to go. Brugalino moved up on the outside of Princess Vey to vie for the lead. And Great Hopes is going up three wide to make a line of three. Prince Anton is next on the outside. And he just dropped back a shade there. May have been tightened up a little bit. There's Chief of State making a quick dash right around them. And Vaux Rave's going pretty easily just off the speed. Prince Anton, he did drop back a little bit there. He's running about sixth as they head onto the bend. Then Bank Coin and Palomino start. Chief of State takes the lead as they set sail for the judge. Uh, Princess Vey's over on the inside, then Brugalino. Vo Rogue has now popped the big question. Then Prince Anton, who's back running fourth. He's riding confidently on Vo Rogue. He snuck a look over the shoulder. Vo Rogue's in front. Now Bank Coin's coming after him. Prince Anton can't win. Vo Rogue in front of Bank Coin. And Vo Rogue is holding Bank Coin. Pioneer Valley flashing home at the end. But Vo Rogue's too good. Vo Rogue first. Bank Coin second. Pioneer Valley third. Then Mendham Lad. Prince Anton next. Put it in by Gelada, Bo Zephyr, Princess Bay, James Tradition. Then Gold Jade Brugalino, Chief of State, Tiny's Glow, Great Hopes, and Palomino Star. Two votes. Two, one, and 15. Number two, Vo Rogue, the winner. Second placing to number one, Bank Coin. And third, number 15, Pioneer Valley. Two, one, and 15. Vo Rogue, the winner of race five in Brisbane. Race six there at 3.15. Last two coming in, Dinky Flyer and All Spades. Dinky Flyer set. All spades ready, set to go now on the JJ Liston. Light is on, racing. They've jumped away pretty well. Major drive, Latin rule, attraction slow. Royal Scepter and All Spades the first to get going from our Avon's goal, Celtic Air. And uh, when they settle down, joined round the fence from our Waverley Star. And now going up Latin Rule very quickly with Fair Sir. One and a half length military plume from Major Drive, Dinky Flyer and Aster Man at the 1100 metre mark now. And All Spades just in front on the outside from Celtic Air showing a lot of speed. Joined round our Evans Gold just behind them from Latin Rule. Our Waverley Star pulling very hard on the outside from Royal Scepter. And then came Fair Sir moving up on the fence. A length military plume, Major Drive and then Dinky Flyer and Aster Man at the 800 down the hill and Celtic Air is still keeping it up to the leader All Spades All Spades a narrow leader Wonder Latin Rule has gone up three deep to be third then our Avon's Gold, the centre. Joindre's had a good run, a length and a half. Our Waverley Star from Fair Sir being niggled at the fence. Military Plume is trailing our Waverley Star and Dinky Fly out of the outside from Royal Sep. They're in the straight. And a great battle, All Spades now tackled by Latin Rule. Celtic Air still there from our Avon's Gold. Then joined race, trying to get out. Our Waverley Star's coming at them now, and Military Plume's following it. Fair Sir's not in the race. It's All Spades tackled by our Waverley Star, and Military Plume going better than them all. Military Plume to the outside, has swept to the lead with our Waverley Star, and Military Plume striding away. What a good horse he is. Military Plume's won it by nearly two lengths to our Waverley Star. A head away third, All Spades, fourth Dinky Flyer. Then Celtic Air ran a good race from Aster Man. Next, Latin Rule. Fair Sir didn't give a yelp from Major Drive, our Avon's Gold. And there followed by Joindre, a shocker. And last of all, Royal Scepter. Official placings for the JJ Liston Stakes. Number 11. Military Plume, ridden by M. Clark, was first. Number 11, Military Plume, M. Clark, first. Photo for the minor placings between our Waverley Star 
and uh, what was the other one? All spades, I think it was, on the inside. We'd like the winning owner or representatives, please, to be at the gate to lead Military Plume back to scale. Great win. Sat behind our Waverley star, Michael Clark trailed him all the way, had Fair Sir on his inside. It was no problem, Fair Sir, never going well. And he followed our Waverley star, and just as that horse swept up to the leaders, along he came, and uh, he's won, won easily. All Spades has battled back for second, number three, All Spades. C. Din second. And number one, our Waverley star, ridden by Greg Hall, was third. 11, three and one. There was a nice race start. five in Sydney. One of the best to begin was Northern Plain, Karina Magic away well. Third Secret Century, then Lord Highbrow and Aponcielli, followed by Algonquin Club, then Sasha Bijou, a length the son of Bijou, and one further back comes Life Peer, then Kaylan. The Brotherhood second last, and Night Train drops out to last. In a race for the lead going past the 1600, and Poncielli takes over Northern Plain, sitting second. Third is Karina Magic, three deep Algonquin Club, then Secret Century, a length further back. Is Lord Highbrow holding his posse one off the rails and son of Bijou out three and four deep. A length the Sasha Bijou to the Brotherhood and then Life Peer Kaylan and last of all Night Train. Along the back down to the 1200 they go and Poncielli by nearly a length on Karina Magic. Third is Northern Plain followed by Algonquin Club still off the track and racing in the middle. At this stage is Lord Highbrow one to Secret Century then son of Bijou covering ground from Sasha Bijou who's a horse off the fence a length the Night Train two lengths to Life Peer Kaylan and the Brotherhood had given a smack with the whip as three deep and last of all as they go round the 850 bend. And Poncielli the leader. Three quarters, Karina Magic a length third, Northern Plain from Algonquin Club. Then Son of Bijou and Lord Highbrow two lengths to Secret Century and then comes Sasha Bijou. A little over a length away next is Night Train from the Brotherhood two to Kaylan and Life Peer is last of all as they run to the 600 and here the leader is Poncielli by a half length. Karina Magic second third is Algonquin Club and waiting for the runners Northern Plain. Son Son of Bijou's covered a heap of additional ground. Two to Lord Highbrow, vigorously ridden. A length Sasha Bijou and then Night Train. And the others are a minute away. Some of these jockeys becoming coated in mud. They straighten up now. Karina Magic heads Poncielli. Here comes Northern Plain away from the rails and tackles the leaders very quickly. And a length further back is Night Train. Algonquin Club's given up. And at the head of the other Son of Bijou. But Northern Plain and Jimmy Cassidy shoot away. 150 metres left to go. It's Northern Plain about three. Three lengths clear. Second posse is taken now by Lord Highbrow going into second berth. And at the head of the others then was Karina Magic. But number four salutes the judge. And that is Northern Plain. Lord Highbrow's run second. Third home Karina Magic. Fourth Poncielli. And at the head of the others, Night Train. And then came Sasha Bijou, son of Bijou, Algonquin Club, the Brotherhood. A long margin away, Secret Century, Kaylan. And absolute in the field was Life Pier. In the fifth at Werribee, it was Flash Sam, $3.10 and $1.20. Sovereign Ive, $1.30. Gabonia, $1.95. Quinella, $9.55. Trifecta, $252.30. And now, there's only two to move in in uh, Werribee for the running of the first leg of the double there. Race number six on the card. We might quickly check and see what's happening on the tote. And there you see the figures. Believable number four, 755 into 275 has been the best back. Peter's yacht from 175 out to two dollars. Number 10, state the facts, 410 into 355. Now they're set to go at Werribee. So let's go there for the first leg of the double to Brian Markovic. Light on for race six. They're all set. Line looking pretty good for race number six. Away they go. Peter's yacht jumped up in the air, may have missed it slightly. Goal Pirate on the inside, one of the best to begin from Bensdale Flyer going forward. Peter's yacht now hitting his traps, he's sailing up towards the lead and now heads them off after travelling nearly 200 metres and behind them racing fourth early as State the Facts, followed by James Brigand. Unbelievable back on the inside, working up on the outside as Irish Lover, followed by General Major Willie's Lad and two lengths away Lusty Prince. At the 1600 metres out of the straight, Bensdale Flyer works up on the outside within three quarters of Peter's yacht. They slacken off in front. Two lengths away, third goal, Pirate, followed by James Brigand on the inside. Up on the outside of State the Facts, followed by believable General Major Irish lover Willie's Lad and Lusty Prince. At the 1300, Peter's Yacht in front, inclined to pull by a half to Bensdale Flyer. A length and a half away, goal, Pirate, third, followed by State the Facts around the outside. James Brigand on the rail, being trailed up in turn by Believable, followed by General Major. In behind them came Willie's Lad, followed by Irish lover and Lusty Prince's back of the tail about 
out. Eight lengths had covered the field along the back near in the thousand. Peter's yacht a neck in front of Bensdale Fly. They quicken up now by two and a half to on the outside Gold Pirate third. Ahead away fourth on the inside of James Brigan, followed by General Major. State the facts is going forward out wide, followed by Believable Willie's Lad Irish Lover, and two and a half away Lusty Prince. Travelling down the side of the 700, Peter's yacht has been in front from the outset by neck to Bensdale Flyer. Pull to the outside now, James Brigand is coming at the pair. State the facts always deep, four wide now. Believable back on the inside, followed by Gull Pirate. In behind them, General Major pulled to the outside from Irish Lover. Then Willie's Lad and two and a half away, Lusty Prince around the turn, 400 metres to go. Peter's yacht a neck in front, he's giving plenty of cheek. He's going all right, Peter's yacht. Three quarters in front now as they turn for home. State the facts always deep as boxing on, but Peter's yacht broke away at the 220. Under pressure, boxing on James Brigand, followed by General Major, then Believable. At the 150, Peter's yacht over two in front. James Brigand trying hard with State the Facts and General Major. Peter's yacht, though, drawing away near the line. He'll lead all the way, Peter's yacht. Peter's yacht wins by two. Second, James Brigand, a neck away third, State the Facts. Then General Major. Believable back in behind them, followed by Irish Lover. Bensdale Fire knocked up from Gold Pirate Willie's Lad. And last in was Lusty Prince. Brian Markovic, your commentator at Werribee, numbers 6, 11 and 10, the winner Peter's Yacht, second James Brigan, third State the Facts on the first leg of the double at Werribee. We'll be back in a moment. Military plume number 11, $3.90. Second All Spades number 3, $2.05. Third number 1, Our Waverly Star, $0.60. Cents. The Quinella, $33.15. And the trifecta, $131.55. Time now to check the approximate dividends. Thought came out running, so did Louder now. Noor Atlantic Prince is there, and so is Buana Jack. And Farika the Rail in a packing field early. Colonial Chiefs right up there in the thick of things in the early throng. So is Kelly's Angel and Faithful Thought. And now Kelly's Angel working towards the lead. Atlantic Prince Pratted Deep, Double Protocol next. Rapid Risk, Gilded Cage right on their hammer. Oh, gifted mascot. He completely jumped the crossing, and over on his outside goes Nifford. Jane and they were followed by Telbon Miss as they string out a little more now running along towards the uh, turn off the far side and the leader getting through on the inside Noura narrowly from Kelly's Angel in the Guineas. Third placing louder now Faithful Thought is up there breathing right down the hammer and tack. A length and a half away Atlantic Prince around Buana Jack position between horses. Farika the rail dropping back slightly. Colonial Chief around her next and then double protocol but three wide on the side. A length and a half gilded cage not far off the lead from Rapid Risk followed by Never Jane gifted Mascock after hurdling a crossing and a length back on the inside was Telbon Miss. They've got 600 to go just prior to turning for home. Kelly's Angel serves it up to Noora. Faithful Thought is breathing right down their neck though and so too is Louder now. Buana Jack following them up and then came Atlantic Prince then Colonial Chief working to get into the clear. They were followed further back in the field behind them by double protocol. Colonial Chief had trouble getting a run. Courtney persists for it and goes on with it but Faithful Thought got to the narrow lead. Louder now is with her and Colonial Colonial Chief has started to run home, but very greenly. It's louder now. Faithful Thought. Colonial Chief, if he goes straight, he'll win. He's racing very greenly, but he's grabbed Faithful Thought right on the wire. She fights back. They hit it, split it very tight. Colonial Chief may be a breath to Faithful Thought. Louder now. Never Jane. Flashed up fourth on the rail in a four-way go. They were followed further back on the field behind them by Noura. Then double protocol. Back in behind that division. Farika made good ground the rail with Gilded Cage. They were up a gifted mascot, Rapid Wrist, Telbon Miss, and also Atlantic Prince, Buana Jack beating a few home, pulling up quickly, as did Kelly's Angel. What a finish. Yes, a great finish, and uh, Ron sees at 1, 9 and 13. Colonial Chief, well, he's as green as grass, but he may have just got there to beat Faithful Ford, number 9, and number 13, Louder now in third placing, but a photo for all placings after the running of Race 5, the Adelaide Guineas. In Brisbane. Near the inside, King of the Galaxy was one of the first to come out. Lots of rule began nicely and showing speed too as Kitty Moon. Tiger Hayes is handy. Ising running about fifth on settling down. City Prince over on the inside. Mots are drifting back. Then Red Shoelaces on the inside. Aussie Boy and Sunshine Valley's last of all. Just look as though there's a great deal of speed on. Lots of rule moves up on the outside and he races to the front now. King of the Galaxy pulling hard on the inside of Lots of Rule and seeing he's got the inside, he's going through to lead. It's King of the Galaxy just in front of Lots of Rule. Tiger Hayes is a length and a half away third but a bit wide and then Kitty Moon in fourth spot. One to City Prince, one then to Red Shoelaces, followed by Ai Zing who's forced to travel a bit deep. And then Aussie Boy Motzer and Sunshine Valley. 
They leave the 600 metre point behind them. King of the Galaxy, the inside. Lots of rules, the outside. They're together. Tiger Hayes third. Kitty Moon is a half length away, fourth in the middle. City Prince written along a little bit over on the inside. Then Red Shoelaces and Ising. Into the straight, 350 metres to go. Lots of rule loomed up on the outside. He's gone to the lead now, but he's immediately under pressure. Killy Moon running on strongly. King of the Galaxy kicking again. City Prince is getting a run on the inside, and Ising is charging home out wide. It's King of the Galaxy kicking back to regain the lead. He's just in front of City Prince and Ising. King of the Galaxy beat Ising. King of the Galaxy first, Ising second. Third, City Prince, then lots of rule and Kitty Moon, followed by Red Shoelaces, Mozza, Tiger Hayes, Aussie Boy and Sunshine Valley. Double to pay 83. And the numbers 7, 1 and 5, the winner 7, King of the Galaxy, second placing to number 1, I Zing on the outside and third number 5, City Prince, 7, 1 and 5 for race 6 in Brisbane. The seventh event there is time to start at 3.50. There are no scratchings, a field of 12. The approximate take dividends for race 7. Race sale 5.65 and 1.65. Northern Plains 6.90 and 1.90. Lord Highbrow $1.05. Carina Magic $2.15. The numbers were 4, 9 and 11. The Quinella $18.50. And the Trifecta $537.85. At Werribee, the previous event, race 6 went to 6, Peter's Yacht, 165 and 85. 11, James Brigand, 190. 10, State the Facts, $1. The Quinella paid $10.60 and the Trifecta, $89.60. Candidates are on their way to the barrier for the running of race 6 at Sandown Park. It's the second leg of the Quad Extra. And uh, let's get the thoughts of Jenny Chapman. And then Prince Polaris and Disputed Pearl, the last two. Yes, he's a, he's a beautiful colt, this fellow Karpstad. Looks in superb condition. Now, Disputed Pearl comes up. And the field is ready to go. The Bellhaven handicap. Racing came out in a pretty good line. Foxley uh, dropping out towards the back of the field with Crest of Glory. To Sentak, one of the best to begin down on the inside and led from Hello Melbourne and Prince Polaris around the outside. The Fount showing some speed, going up second from Silver Scout, followed by Retainer. They're followed further back in the field by top innings. On the outside of them is Disputed Pearl. Karpstead's got back to about third last and a bit of bother there, and Celtic Spirit second last and Foxley last of all. 7.50 out now and over on the inside here. It's to Sentak going up with Disputed Pearl out wide and Prince Polaris the centre, a length to Spinator. A length further back in the field than Silver Scout. Scout followed by Hello Melbourne. They're followed by the Fount, then Haughty Lad top innings when they come up towards the turn. Further back then Crush. Haughty Lad pulled out wide from Wolver Action. Karpstad back third last to the moment with Noda when they turn for home, followed by uh, Crest of Glory, Caldic Spirit, Foxley. 300 out, Disputed Pearl, the leader, a length and a half, Spinator. Over on the inside is Prince Polaris and then Hello Melbourne on the outside, followed by top innings. Disputed Pearl in front, Prince Polaris and Hello Melbourne coming at them. Hello Melbourne got to the front from Disputed Pearl. Top innings starting to finish quickly down the outside. Hello Melbourne, the leader from top innings and Disputed Pearl and Hello Melbourne gets the money. Hello Melbourne by a length on the line to top innings. Disputed Pearl is third. Fourth on the inside, then Prince Polaris, followed by Retainer. Then further back was Crush from Spinator, then Celtic Spirit, then Silver Scout, Wolver Action, Foxley, then Haughty Lad. Karpstad, never a chance. Further back then the Fount with Tsentak with Crest of Glory and noted one of the last in. Winner here of race number six on the program is number three. Number three, the winner. Number three, Hello Melbourne, written by Simon Marshall. Number three, Hello Melbourne first. Number 13, second, top innings, written by Jay Didham. And third placing about to come up goes to number two, Disputed Pearl, D. Brow, three, 13 and two. Three, 13 and two. Fourth in is number 10, Prince Polaris. Melbourne 455 and 135. Second top innings 160. Third disputed Pearl 255. Quinella was a good one $33.80 and the trifecta $960 on the numbers 3, 13 and 2. Oh, and eyebrow $1.05. Third number 11 Carina Magic $2.15. The Quinella $18.50. Trifecta $537.85. Now they're almost set to go for the running of this, the next event in Sydney. Now here's Ian Craig. We'll start noticeably and space power straight to the lead from Picker Poet. Third touch high, then go for the Doctor. Wider Crown Royal. A length Nakoma, then Moonlight Banded Silver Champagne from Oli picking up some lost ground. And bottom line is last back about 10 lengths from Space Power, who at the 850 shows out a length. Picker Poet in second place, one and a half to touch high, and then Wider out Moonlight Bandit. Followed by Go for the Doctor from Oli making a little ground up on the inside but meeting a dead end. Then Crown Royal to Nakoma Silver Champagne. 
Payne and Bottom Line trails. Down the side they go, and towards the 600 metres, and Space Power, three quarters pick of Poet, three deep Moonlight Bandit. Racing fourth, Touch High inside, go for the Doctor. Wider out is Crown Royal, a length from Oli, one Silver Champagne, three lengths to Bottom Line, and Nakoma now brings up the rear. As they commence the swing, and the leader is Space Power. He's been tried to win this at nice odds, too, and Space Power at the 350. Two lengths clear from Oli on the inside of Touch High, and a length and a half to Moonlight Bandit. Down to the 200, and Space Power's riders about to draw the whip in, Peters. Fromoli's coming into second place now. There's Mudluck, and Fromoli, who missed the kick, is after Space Power. The little boy can't do a lot on Fromoli. Space Power's very tired. Fromoli trying to get him. Space Power still in front of Fromoli, and Space Power and Fromoli hit it locked together. There won't be much in it, believe me. Third was Silver Champagne, followed home by Bottom Line, Touch High, and then Moonlight Bandit, followed by Crown Royal, Nakoma, then Go for the Doctor, and a Pick a Poet was back at the rear. Right, Ian Craig uh, says it'll be a photo, but it looks as though number two, Space Power, is the winner. Only one out behind the line, and that is uh, Heavenly Talk. Mini Valley Harness Racing tonight. Quite a good program. The first race, no doubt, is the uh, best race of the night, the opening race at Mooney Valley. And a good program of harness racing at uh, Kilmore next Monday, of course. Cranbourne Greyhounds tonight, another good program as well. White's right in Sydney, correct, White Sydney. Now, still Heavenly Talk to come up. Now it goes in, they're all set. Light on now. Set for the seventh, over a thousand metres, the uh, salmon sprint. They're set. Shouldn't hold them too long. In the small field of eight, and away they go. Kanja began quite well, and out wide, Heavenly Talk and Arbitral began okay from Must Be Pete, Roman Laurel. Collins Choice is third last, and two lengths away, Mr. Glamour second last, and up on the outside is Goblet inside the 800, Heavenly Talk just in front. Of on the inside, Kanja, and up on the outside is Arbitral. In behind them came Must Be Pete racing fourth, a length away, Roman Laurel fifth, and close enough, followed by Collins Choice on the inside of Mr. Glamour, and two and a half away, Goblet. 500 out on the turn, Arbitral the outside, a neck in front of Heavenly Talk, a length and a half away, Roman Laurel pulled to the outside, Kanja back on the fence, followed by Must Be Pete, Mr. Glamour, Collins Choice dropping out second last, and up on the outside, Goblet, 250 out on the turn, Arbitral went up on the outside, put its nose in front of Heavenly Talk from Kanja, then Roman Laurel followed by Mr. Glamour on the outside, joining in, Mr. Glamour on the outside appears to be coming home over the top of them, Goblet from well back, a sprouting wings and flashing home, Mr. Glamour in front near the line, he's got there, Mr. Glamour by neck to Goblet who flew. Roman Laurel third. Collins Joyce made about a heap of ground for fourth. Then Arbitral followed by Kanja. Heavenly Talk second last and last in was Must Be Pete. Well, uh, it's got there Mr. Glamour but only narrowly number three. Number one Goblet second and Roman Laurel number four third. Three, one and four. They're racing in Adelaide. Here's Ron Pat. Tidy sort of a start with Handy Money away quickest of all out deep on the track near the inside. Arboredo away well with easy access and showing some speed Sir Great Eagle's image angling in behind them. They were followed by Darjeeling Prince. The imported gallop at Alfara Stack goes up on the outside and puts Peace Token wider. In that division behind those then came on the crest as they head out of the straight and shuffle into position to run over the crossings on the side now where Handy Money led by two. In second position, Sir Great around the outside of Easy Access Arboredo. Fourth inside of Eagle's Image going to fourth. Then further out was Peace Token, followed then by Baroda Boy. Moving up into the thick of things with that horse too was El Fado Stack as they go along the far side and out deep was Mission Capistrano. They were followed back behind them then by Anna Ray. And